Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Brandon Davidson, the owner of Davidson Audio, where we specialize solely in the Indian motorcycle audio solutions for the riders. In today's video, we got an awesome package from the folks over at Blackout Industries. And some of you might be asking yourself, well, who is that? How do they pertain to Indians? Well, we're gonna tell you exactly who they are what they provide for the Indian motorcycles and open up this box of goodies that we got here. We bought some parts for both of our shop bikes along with a customer's bike, which will be a future install video along with a awesome little surprise for some R&D work that we're gonna be doing in house for them. So enough talking, let's go get this box open and discuss who Blackout Industries is. I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Before we go opening up the package and going through everything that we ordered, I wanted to take a quick minute to let you all know who Blackout Industries is. First off, they are another small business that takes pride in making their products here in the United States of America. That's big for me. That's what I try to do with the products that I make myself. Unfortunately, like you all know, I can't help where the audio equipment or batteries or electronics comes from because there's no getting around that. So with outside of that, the products I make in house, I source to other small businesses, other small companies here in the US and make my products that way. I know for a fact that Blackout Industries takes great pride in that. They're based out of South Dakota and I know their parts are made also in South Dakota which is really cool. From there, they specialize their products for Harley Davidsons and Indians. For the Harley Davidsons, there's a list of a few models. I'm gonna cheat and look at my phone because unfortunately, I'm not as adverse with the Harleys as I am the Indians. So the short list of parts that they make are for the Street Glide, Road Glide, Road King, Ultra slash Electra, the Sportsters, Dyna, and Softtails. They make a bunch of different parts for those bikes from stretched rear end kits to bag fillers to uh, wider tank panel kits. A um, bunch of cool stuff for the Harleys. And then if we go over to the Indian motorcycles, they offer parts for both the Chieftain Roadmasters and the Challenger Pursuits which would be the license plate brackets, the molded side panels, saddlebag fillers, which go between the fender and the filler plates, which are super cool. Um, I plan on buying some for both of these bikes, even though I have the OEM ones. Theirs is a two piece, but you buy the kit, it comes with three pieces, which allows you to have the bottom fillers, which are permanent. And they also give you removable top pieces. So that way, if you're not rocking any sissy bar tour pack, nothing, they have a full filler panel, but if you are rocking a tour pack like the Roadmaster and Pursuits primarily do, they have filler plates to go up around those as well to help give it that nice clean look in the rear. Um, I do know they have some new products they're about to release soon, which should fit both of these bikes because they have the same rear ends. I'm not going to say what it is. I'm super excited for these products though because I think it's going to look super cool. So outside of that, I mean, that's about the nuts and bolts to who Blackout Industries is. A little spoiler, I am talking to the owner. We are gonna sit down and do a uh, Zoom call together, do a nice cool little Q&A video about more in depth of who they are, why they started the business, what they offer, because you can go way more in depth than I can, because I've just you know scoured their website and everything for products and hopefully show us you know, the future plans of Blackout Industries and hopefully pertaining to these two motorcycles, the Indians. And I'm really hoping that I get to you know, work with them a little bit more and do some more R&D and come up with some really cool products. So yeah, that's about it for Blackout Industries. Let's go grab the box of goodies that we ordered from them, get that unboxed and show you all what we ordered. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and open up and unbox what we got from Blackout Industries. Obviously, 
I've already cut the tape because I was curious and impatient. So now we're gonna give it open, pull everything out, and show y'all just what we got. And just as a disclaimer, yes, I am wearing my Crocs because I don't know where my work shoes are. And these things are actually wicked comfortable. Not a sponsorship for Crocs, unless you want to, we'll wear Crocs for it. All right, but we got a bunch of bubble wrap. Okay. All right, we got some instructions. Yeah, well. Now you know what we part what we got for the Indian Chieftain Stretch Dash that we bought. Um, what else we got here? We got other instructions for the other parts that we bought. We got a nice thank you card. Yes, nice card with some QR codes. Thank you for buying American Made, proudly made in South Dakota. I can verify this because I know exactly where they're or made, and I have seen them. The brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. Uh, thank you for your order, Brandon. Any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Let us know what you think. Thank you again. All the best, the Blackout Crew. That is one thing that I love to do with my company as well as put a little handwritten note on there. It's the most, you might not, you think it's insignificant, not really a big deal, but for me, it shows that we're taking that extra step, the personal touch to the order. Yeah, so I really appreciate that as a fellow business owner. Set the instructions aside. Let's start with what we already said. So here will be our Indian Chieftain Stretch Dash. So this will replace the short little piece that Indian does. I think it ends right about here. So they stretched it all the way down where that leather strap is. So it's one piece. Um, I'm not entirely sure what color we're gonna get this painted. So I think y'all should Drop a comment down below what color you think we should go with the white smoke to match the bike. Maybe keep it black, maybe do white and black, or should we do white smoke and try to get our atomic black powder coat match? Maybe just, you know, hit this edge here to give it a little accent. Not really sure yet. Toss around a couple different ideas. So drop a comment down below what you think we should paint this. We ordered the Blackout Industries Indian Chieftain replacement plate and light bracket here. Uh, this is a direct bolt on, they include the hardware there, pre-wired for the OEM connections. So you have this nice little light bar that's also turn signal, the license plate bracket, nice uh, solid piece with the LED light right here. So I think that's gonna be a nice way to clean up the back of our Indian Chief and make it nice, simple, sleek. We're looking forward to putting that on there. So let's set this one aside and get the next one out. All right, these are gonna be the same. So let's just take one out for right now. Obviously these lights aren't stuck on yet because we need to get them painted still. So these will be the license plate and turn signal delete kits for our Indian Challenger. They come with the hardware, obviously again, pre-done connections with load resistors on them, it looks like. So you got your turn signal brake lights with a license plate bracket or license plate light as well. Super cool, super sleek, looking forward to getting this on there. I know some people said, I don't know, I don't really like the vertical license plate thing. I mean, to each their own. I think it's gonna look a lot better, a lot cleaner than what OEM has there. So I'll be curious to get them installed on the bike and see how they look. Didn't see Cool. Another t-shirt. Live fast, ride hard, blackout, <laughs> responsibly. Cool little shirt with their logo on it. I'm sure the girlfriend will probably steal this one as well. She steals all my other shirts. Some koozies, same deal on these. Got a sweet padded backrest here because we got a pretty sweet little uh, tour pack here that we got with them about doing some R&D work on to see just how it performs, the, maybe some modifications we can make to it, or just test it and see if it works as is. So let's get this box out of the way and get this unpackaged too. So first thing first, obviously you can tell here it is a nice slim razor pack, not too thick or tall. So, and the next really cool feature on this is 
It has two acrylic windows right on top and this cool little feature allows you to look down into it and that's by design so that way you can see your mid-bass speakers that you choose to put in there. So let's go ahead and get this an open. It's got a lock right here. It's got, oh, oh, okay, the shock's already in it. It's got a shock. Oh, the baffle. Okay, so everything's already secured in it. So let's see. I am going to go ahead and take the shock out so we can open it up and really show you guys what's there. All right, after getting the air shock unhooked, it gave us a little bit more room. So let's see if we can angle this here. So as you can see, this is designed to hold, well, let's talk about what's in here first. So they send you a nice little seal gasket that'll get around the perimeter to help seal this. You obviously have your key set for the lock cylinders here to lock this thing closed. And these are little standoffs that you will panel bond to the bottom to help you know, keep this from flexing at all. There's two of them in here, the other one's floating around here somewhere. And then you have your eight inch panel itself. So that way you can put two eight inch speakers here and here, and they will be down firing in this enclosure. So the reason I wanted to work with them is just to see, you know, what I could get this thing to do, how it performed, you know, any help that I could be, let them know yay or nay, how well it works. Um, I know a lot, some people were, you know, really hesitant about this deal. So I was like, hey, I'll, you know, they're a good crew over there. Uh, it's tight, tight closure. Overall, just, you know, I like to help when I can. So we're gonna throw this on the bike, see what it does, see if there's some modifications that we can make to it to make it, you know, sound or perform better if it needs it. Um, I, at this point, I have no idea. I haven't even messed with this thing. I have no idea. I don't know anything about it besides how it looks. So we're gonna do some R&D and some future videos on this. Overall, I think the look of it is great. Just gonna come down to how it performs. So that's all the products that we bought. And that's it for this video. Yeah, okay. In this video, I just wanted to do a nice little quick video going over who Blackout Industries is, what they're offering for these beautiful Indian motorcycles, and then also the parts that we ordered from them already, which, as you all saw, was the two different license plate brackets, one for each of these bikes, and we got the extended dash piece for the Indian Chieftain. By no means is this the end of the parts that we will be ordering from them. I have plans to order, you know, the bag fillers and the molded side panels just to help not only support another small business, but two, I think they make really nice high quality parts, which you will see in future install videos, which I think the next one or two will be installing the license plate bracket and the extended dash for the Indian Chieftain. So lastly, I just want to thank you all so, so much for the support, viewing these videos, sharing them, commenting below. It's really given me the drive to continue doing these videos. And it's been a lot more fun than I thought. You know, I hate being on camera, but at the end of the day, it's a way for me to get the information that I know out to you all, hopefully to help you either make decisions on products or maybe how to do things. You know, we're all here to help each other. Let's grow the Indian community more and more day by day, one bike at a time, one project at a time. So that being said, Please help me do the favor, share this video, like the video. If you aren't subscribed already, which you all should be, please go down and hit that little bell notification button to get notified for future videos, but I forgot. Go subscribe to the channel. Huge help. Please help me do the growth channel because we will be doing more and more giveaways for you all. I'm here to help serve the Indian community in any way possible. So enough talking. Brandon Davidson, owner of Davidson Audio, and I'm out.